creative staring contest? Oh, let's do one ourselves! So you're the biggest moon in the solar system? Yup. Must be kind of awkward to be named Titan and be second place. We look kind of the same. <laughs> What's your radius? 1,600 miles. Yours? 1,635! Ha! My radius is bigger! Yeah! Ugh, boys. Uh... I guess you're not so... Titanic. After all, eh, Titan? I guess. Congratulations, Ganymede. Hey, stop acting like you don't care. Ah, oh, we get it already! You are bigger! He doesn't care! Yeah! Titan has water, which can sustain silicon-based organisms! Wait, what? I also have an underwater ocean. You do as well, Ganymede. I do? Don't you ever listen to Jupiter? Uh... So there are others like me? What? Are you jealous? No! On the contrary! This means I was right! Moons can be like planets! <laughs> Where are you taking us, Mr. Earth's moon? To see Titan. Aha! So you have Titan captive the same way you're now our captor! We're following him willingly. Oh! Then what's the deal? It's complicated. We're in no rush. <sighs> we found signs of life in Titan's underwater ocean. Now he's trying to figure out a way to have moons be treated equally as planets. That's not gonna happen. Why'd you say that? Because it's the way of things. We're small and we rely on the planets. They'll never respect us or see us as their equals. Well, Titan still has a point. A valid point doesn't get us any closer to defeating the planets. Wait, who said anything about- No! Who did that? Show yourself! <laughs> Oh no. Ceres, you said something about defeating a planet, Callisto! A dwarf planet, technically, but shouldn't be too different. Let's move. What do you think, Europa? This Titan is either onto something, or he's mad. Based on his company, I'd say it's the latter. Still, shouldn't we look deeper into this? The implications are he huge. I don't know. Weren't we supposed to just find Titan and bring him back to Saturn? You said this was an adventure, didn't you? What's more fun, choosing the journey or letting the journey choose you? That's why you're my girl, Europa. Oh, and Ganymede? Yeah? Call another moon babe again and I'll push you out of your orbit into the void of space. <laughs> gotcha. So, what's your story, Titan? My story? Yeah! Come on, you're hiding in the asteroid belt all sketchy and stuff. You're either a superhero or a supervillain wannabe. I'm... wait, no, I, I'm... Tell him, boss! Tell him what the Earth said! Yes, Titan! Tell me what the Earth said. Okay. Well, it all started when... I can't land a single hit! He's too fast! <laughs> Ugh, this isn't working. We need to flank him. I will take the left. Uh, I'm on it! Earth's moon, you take the right. Why does everyone call me Earth's moon? What do you want to be called then? Well, my name's... Ah! We'll talk later! And I'll go head on. Now! Yeah! 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 Wait, what? Based on how Mars reacted last time, I was expecting something... bigger? Is this really a planet? Dwarf planet? I know. Still, that's technically in the planet family. Ouch! You jerk! <laughs> yeah, you better run! I... I can't believe we beat Ceres! I mean, Mars is so afraid of him and he's a planet! Maybe your friend Titan isn't crazy after all. And then, Astro Dude told me that he found some type of organism under my surface. And I decided that it was time for a change. So, yeah, I decided not to return to Saturn and figure out how to change things for the better. Have you figured that out? Well, my plan is to gather several moons. Yes! And the next time we see our planets... Yes! We go on a strike! Yeah, we strike them down and... Wait, 
just when I was starting to like him. Touché! <laughs> Listen, Titan, how did you feel when the Earth told you Moon should know their place? Uh, pretty bad? Like a, like a punch in the face? Maybe. Now when someone punches you in the face, you don't respond with a friendly strike. But I don't want to be like him. You know what I got from your story? That when the golden boy of the planets met you, he felt insecure. Because the Earth can only feel superior as long as nobody can rise to his level. Then, what do we do? Okay, we must be getting close. You sure you're not lost? I- Hey, you're back! Ha! Huh? You see? I knew where I was going. Who are they? Oh, they're Phobos and Deimos. The three of us are the only moons from the rocky planet side. How many of you are on the gassy planet side? <laughs> Over 200 moons! Anyways, we found two moons of Jupiter! Well, they found us! Oh, wait! Ganymede is here? Ganymede! <laughs> Who are your new friends? Just like the ones you found. Two of Jupiter's moons. Jupiter, Jupiter has, has more than, than two moons? moons? Hey, Earth's moon, you're back. Yeah, took a short detour and fought a dwarf planet. Wait, really? Yep, the three of us taught him a lesson. Maybe you're right, Ganymede. Of course I'm right. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Are they, are they gonna help us with the strike? There's not gonna be a strike, moon. <laughs> uh, uh, what? Planets think they're superior, but you just took down a dwarf planet. And I doubt you did it with a strike. I mean, two different scenarios here. If we don't make noise, they won't listen. The only way they'll ever respect us is if we bring down their golden boy. Wait, you, you don't mean... We are taking down the Earth. Are you with us? Ooh. 